queridísimo hermano en el cielo que se pase cinco meses. Que Dios los bendiga. Que sigan rezando por mí. Eso siempre. Por favor, no en contra. <laughs> This family greeted Pope Francis during his general audience, and they say it was a gift from their daughter Eugenia, who passed away five months ago. She was nine years old and suffered from cerebral palsy. Well, we asked her for it, and we gave it to the twins for their birthday, trusting that the Lord was going to help us get to the audience. And the truth is that she opened the doors for us to be here today. Pope Francis also gave them his skullcap, or zucchetto, as a gift. ¿Qué ha pasado, Catalina? Que me ha dado su gorro. Su gorro. Mira, es que le hemos comprado, le hemos comprado el solideo y justo cuando hemos pasado nosotros se lo ha quitado, se lo ha puesto a Catalina y se ha cogido el, el nuevo el que le hemos regalado a nosotros. Entonces nos llevamos aquí así, eso se lo ha hecho y luego ya le, le ha dicho, pues cuídalo. They also gave him Eugenia's book. We also gave him Eugenia's book, with a dedication and two holy cards. The family has an association to help children with cerebral palsy, and were able to tell the Pope about it. And he was very happy. He smiled at us from ear to ear. Then he blessed each one of the girls, and he put his hand on their heads. It was amazing. The family believes the meeting with Pope Francis was a gift from Eugenia in heaven. Before she died, traveling gave us a lot of joy, but there was also a sense of sorrow because we had to leave her at home since we couldn't do many things with her. But now, you have the feeling that wherever you go, she always goes with you. It has been a very special trip. They return to Madrid with joyous memories with Pope Francis and the reminder that Eugenia is guiding and protecting them from heaven. <laughs>She could die at any moment. It was 2011. Ten years later, that medical diagnosis has not come true, thank God. It's all thanks to the intercession of John Paul II, who still helps others today. These cases are not the only ones. More than 15,000 testimonies of extraordinary favors attributed to Carol Wojtyla have reached the Vatican. Even a relic with a few drops of his blood gathers crowds in the streets and lead to countless new miracles. John Paul II is still alive.